Oh, look, 4333. Uh, are you guys from Lenzi? 4333. What's your name and badge number, sir? That's my What's your name and badge number? I'm not number, answering. Sir? If you're, if you, if, if, you name and badge number, I keep driving. I don't talk to cops who don't identify. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Pickering, Ontario. And folks, you know, with the number of times I've been arrested by various law enforcement since the calendar year 2024 began, began with the RCMP, then twice with the Toronto Police Service, and then just last weekend in Fergus with the OPP. Something is up. I feel as though I and my Rebel News colleagues have a big target on our backs. I can't believe that police are independently operating this way. I really think there's some kind of uh, politicization of the police department. And I have an anecdote right now from my guest, Rick Troyan. You're not gonna believe it, I couldn't believe it. Thank goodness Rick records everything because the camera does not lie. So Rick, we go back a few weeks ago, you're in the Scarborough area of Toronto. There's a huge construction project uh, being put up. You're filming it, which is your right to do. You're not trespassing on the site, because uh, I know you do construction yourself. Uh, some construction workers took exception to that. They phoned the police. A cruiser from 41 Division comes over, and then what happens? Well, two cruisers showed up, <laughs> and... They pulled over, they, they blocked our access. We were blocks away from the actual construction site where they alleged that we trespassed. And they started asking me, are you with Menzies? Are you with Menzies? And, and the one guy would not identify himself. I'm like, what's your name and badge number? Are you with Menzies, he would say. And I told him in the end, I'm like, I don't identify to cops who don't identify to me. And it doesn't matter who I'm with. And he's like, are you with Menzies? And it went on for about 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah, I think at least four times they asked that. And, and folks, I didn't believe it, but thank goodness Rick does record everything. Here, check out the video evidence. Oh, look, 4333. Uh, are you guys with Menzies? 4333. What's your name and badge number, sir? What's your name and badge number, I'm not number, answering. Sir? If you're, if you, if, if, name and badge number, I keep driving. I don't talk to cops who don't identify. Can you connect the dots for me? Because I'm baffled, Rick. No, it's, it actually, for a lack of a better term, it scared the crap out of me. Because he was asking very invasive questions. Like, who's your friends? Who you hang out with, <laughs> right? You and I, we have met on a, a couple of occasions, yeah. but we're definitely not joined at the hip. We both have the right to do what we do. And we both exercise our rights and we do it well but this man he desperately wanted to know if i was with you before they asked any questions regarding a trespass an alleged trespass on a construction site that never happens somebody comes up to you why are you filming why are you filming <laughs> you know if you don't answer them right away they call the police and that seems to be the new normal since well i think you know when that started Rick, I'm just wondering, because uh, I never thought about that, the fact that we're both wearing hats that are sort of similar. Um, maybe in the future, are you going to, I don't know, uh, trade in your fedora for, say, a, a ball cap or no cap, or uh, just so you don't get any kind of, you know, connection with that horrible David Menzies fellow? Are you going to change your hat? I'm not going to change my hat. <laughs> okay, there <laughs> no, you we're go. good. <laughs> so there you go, folks. If you want to stay out of trouble in the GTA, don't wear a hat. Evidently, that means you're affiliated with me. Uh, this is where our law enforcement dollars are going while the GTA is having the worst crime wave in its history. Come on, guys. We back the blue. Without you, we have anarchy, we have chaos, but give your heads a shake. Go after the real criminals. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. <laughs> Folks, I know you love it when Rebel News tells you the other side of the story, but unlike uh, Justin Trudeau's trained seals in the media party, we don't accept a nickel's worth of government funding, nor would we accept it if offered. We depend on you. So can you do me a favor? Can you go to Rebel fieldreports.com that's rebelfieldreports.com and if you can kindly make a donation 
We will continue to bring you the other side of the story.